Alright, let's get my car. It's fairly close. <laughs> ah! Howdy folks, I'm Stash Dad, and I'm back with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Last time, we lost our best friend. We got fucked over by our fixer, who shot us and killed us. And we were revived by the ghost of Christmas Keanu. So all in all, it was quite it was quite an ordeal, to be honest. I feel like we went through a lot, and honestly, I'm not down for any more psychological torture for at least two more episodes. I need them to be chill for a while. Hey, what's going on? I live right upstairs. So keep on living and stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. I struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Patrol. Barry's got nerves of stew. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's see what I can do. Can I just, uh. Hey, Barry! Do this now? Everything alright in there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Uh, try again later. Ah, so I'll probably have to do it at a specific time of day. I wonder if it says. I'll just stand here and wait. Well, then there's only one thing to do. Barry? Am I remembering that right? Who is it? V! Your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Well, your friends are worried about you. Just want to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. I think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. And you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. <laughs> you too. Come in. Sure. Thank you. That's kind of you. I'll just, uh, sit here. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. He, uh, told you about him. Best bud I ever had known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. I'm guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. <sighs> Typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. I was... A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? 
How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly? Thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Doesn't matter. Normally. From old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. The whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. Hope you... Hope you have a better day, friend. Uh, can I steal any of your stuff? No. Okay. Well, I'll be seeing you later. I said no more sad shit. What the fuck, game? God damn. Stop throwing this at my face. Oh, I taste love with Nicola. All foods. We have all the foods. Ooh, meat delight based. That sounds great. Oh, did we? This is, I gotta admit, this is a pretty great loading screen. I'm all about it. You can hardly tell that it is a loading screen. It is so jarring to see people with just complete robot appendages. It, it takes me by surprise every time. Good to hear you. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. How are you doing? How you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Calling to offer my condolences. Hmm? Offer your condolences. Ay, so Christophe. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyoteco Hall. Many of his friends will be there. Try out our freshly developed new tastes and let your tongue be amazed. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. Mm. Yeah, I did not doubt it for a second. Hello. Sit. You do not look so bad. Well, thank you. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Me too. Why'd you help me, anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it will be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. I am. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You're thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. 
I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Uh, I actually think so, but I don't want to sell her out in case she could help me, so I'm I'm talking. Give me a minute. I, I'm going to say I have no idea, because the truth is I have no idea, I guess. Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma, to be sure. But she showed that slyness you get in corporal agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. <laughs> That's very sensible of you, sir. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. I'm loving th this voice actor sounds like he's got an actual Japanese accent as opposed to someone doing a terrible one. I don't There's know. There's no does time to waste, B. I'm making jokes. I was going to say I don't know who makes terrible accents on this channel, but you ruined it. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear. Ah, uh, it's hot. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped Arasaka. Betrayed it. What are we what are we looking at? I I'm not getting now, subtitles. -sama, I oh. would first like to ask you. Fucking sucker scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Come on, Taki. We don't have to kill old men. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid to reflex. Well, you don't have to beat yourself up over it. Everybody makes mistakes. It's okay. Thanks for the offer need to think about it. Get back to you. 
I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I will try my best, you never know. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there. Rogue. Mean to say you worked for Saburo? yet got no idea how to talk to the High and Mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Oh! Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course on with table. chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. <laughs> What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again. 
Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. Well, I don't... I mean, if, if you're saying you're willing to be uh, courteous and let me have my brains... Let's get out of here. I will give you a chance. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know, Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. And he's gone. All right, so that was quite the patch of cutscene there. What? Oh, that's not how I get out. Oh, this is. Oh, that was to the back room. I see. Yeah, that was quite the, the amount of information there, wasn't it? I enjoyed most of that. And now this. I'm. I, oh. I can't decide if I. I can't decide if I like Johnny Silverhand or not. It's kind of a giant dick. Alright, let's get my car. It's fairly close. <laughs> ah! <laughs> there you are. Whoa! Oh, whoa! 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 What? Johnny, did you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. Don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident. I take it. Must have, uh, talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What'd I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want to? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Hey! Haven't I seen you here before? Got a good memory for faces. We're closed right now. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. Thank you. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Thanks. Just don't, don't let me catch you messing around, okay? Okay, just don't hit me in the back of the head with a baseball bat, okay? I'm glad we can agree. in a shelter. Come on, they all deserve a chance. Any one could end up useful. Give it some time. They'll pay for themselves. Pay? Chicks can barely take care of themselves. Not when they're face down in the mud. 
But who knows? Could surprise you. I hate surprises. Don't want to mm -hmm. interrupt their conversation. Really feeling that sense of community right now. Zeus, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Hello. Hello. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I may. Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. it wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. Would you stop it? A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. I don't know what doll means. So we're gonna hit this place? Clouds? Is that... Why the hell not? Is that a different word for prostitute? Uh... I'm going to tell you this is what I'm going to do. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. She cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Hey, look. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? No. Pleased to meet you. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me.
when you talk, it is important. <laughs> What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. Ooh, what is I it? I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here <laughs> in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. Old friend, well connected to the influential. Why so mysterious? Get to the point. I told you once I would explore options, knock on many doors. There will be a meeting, you, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me, the truth of events at Kompiki Plaza. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Fine. Where's the meat and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Alright, since we're doing sad stuff, let's go talk to Jackie's mom. Full table? We got to get rid of it. Really? He's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? I'm good, thanks. No hay bronca. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Hanging in there somehow. Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. Hmm. But okay. We put it behind us. Hmm? I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beer would be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. I want to take part in the ceremony, but... I want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm-hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket, that would do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. Not so long ago, he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. You won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mijo. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour, sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just, I miss him, a lot. Well, that's only Wanna natural. Sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. 
Just, well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set. What, you, you two didn't get that far? He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Oh, well that's sweet of you. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. Maybe I'll be able to talk to the mom. I'm sure that'll work that way. Everything else has so far. It's a fine piece of metal in mechanics. He was so psyched. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there. Yeah. For whom the bell tolls. Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... <laughs> I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. What's in there? That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Wait, this is where he Let's slept? Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Yeah, it might be. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both... Wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him? It's a miracle he never wiped out. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? 
He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Found it. Oh, Jackie. That a mandala? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. <laughs> but it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. An aquarium. It used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, Minnie. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Jackie's favorite tequila. Huh, still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sanson Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. Well, how'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Leather belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Uh, I'm not sure that's the best memento to hang on to, if I'm being honest. Uh, I think this one's the one. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? Yes, I do think we should. You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning? Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. All right, Misty, let's... He was a let, let me talk to his mom. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. Yeah, you, you actually don't even have to talk to her if you don't want to. V, hey, it's good you're here. Thank you. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. Hey, Victor. Oh, I've still got these ridiculous boots on. I thank you all for coming today. 
I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. Feels like it happened a century ago. At another time. In another place. Jackie saved my life. And then... Years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. But it would not have happened without him, Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. But most importantly, Everyone saw Jackie as a grinning charmer. Saw the good in everyone. Everything. But they were wrong. Jackie Wells was a hell of an ambitious chum who never gave up. And whose drive cost him his life. Oh geez, I didn't know you were gonna but get- he did in life not what, what I meant at all. He'd do. Reach for fortune and fame. No fear in eyes or heart. He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, Chew. I would like to say a toast.
amor, mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, Simi. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. A lot of people it. come today. I'm... Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. And she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. Uh, what is it? You... you sure? Jackie would kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. Oh, is it his motorcycle? So don't get I would, any scratches I would it. love to have that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yes, you. I will gladly accept that. I'll take such good care of it. Cuidate, B. You too. Uh, are you the Valentinos? I want to talk to everyone that's optionally available to talk to. I'll talk to you. I'll, I'll apologize in a minute, Misty. Hey, Vic. Campos all torn up. I'm gonna he miss feels him. Like he lost one of his own. I already I do. He'll be as torn up after you die. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, cabron. Eh? Me too. Not today. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. I'll see you, Vic. Sure. Hang in there, kid. Pour you another? For Jaquito? Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Listening's a skill, you know. Hey, you! Need Don't you to focus now, okay? To Wells? Uh, I don't drink on this the clock. This thing's a skill, you know. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. Yeah. I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. I think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well... Heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. Okay, so that doesn't count as talking to him? Alright then. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Sorry, Misty. Hey. Are you alright? Yeah. I think I'm just still in that garage, mentally. I just need a sec. You, uh, here to say goodbye to one of your own? Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us? From up there? I believe he has met God. Stood before him. That's it. I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. <laughs> Jackie, do you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Alright folks, I'm gonna leave this episode of Cyberpunk 2077 here. Hopefully we've given Jackie a proper farewell. I was really hoping to keep the more sentimental, emotional things down this episode since we've been through so much, but that, I guess that just wasn't in the cards for us this time. Hopefully next time when we go to try to do something 
I don't, I, maybe I, I'm just going to go shoot people next episode. That's all it's going to be is just shooting people and all of the happiness that that entails. And if you want to see it, make sure you subscribe to catch it. <laughs> if you've liked this one, do me a favor and leave me a like. I love all of you. And remember, stash isn't the hair on your lip. It's the source of your power. <laughs>